In this video, we will learn about dictionaries in Python with examples. We will learn how to create a dictionary. With that, we will also learn about all the concepts related to dictionaries in Python. Let's begin. Dictionary represents the key value pair in Python and closed in curly braces. So you can relate dictionary with the real world example of dictionaries wherein you find words so that you can get their meaning. So words and meaning pair are like key value pair. Okay. So this is how dictionary in Python works. Keys are unique and and a colon separates it from value that means key colon value okay the keys are immutable okay and it can be in the form of strings numbers whereas the value can be any python object the keys in dictionary are case sensitive you need to remember that okay so let us see how we can create a dictionary in python dictionaries in python are separated by comma so herein you can see my stock we have created a dictionary object within that we have key value pairs Okay, the product price and quantity here are keys and earphone 850 are values. Okay, you can see key and value are separated by colon whereas each key value pair is separated by a comma. So this is a three key value pair under dictionaries one pair, second pair and third pair. Let us see an example. So this is the illustration. I told you my stock is a dictionary object and you have three key value pairs here. Product colon earphone product is your key. Here in price is your key and here in quantity is your key. With that the values individual values are here earphone 850 that means on the left of the colon we have keys and in the right of the colon we have values okay. Let us see another example with four key value pairs after that we will run all these live examples with all possible concepts in dictionaries. Here is a dictionary object again we have four key value pairs here okay. Our keys are product price quantity and in stock our values are earphone 850 and yes here and the same is mentioned by us okay python dictionary with four key value pairs after that we will also see an example related to creating a dictionary using a specific using a built-in method dict after that we will also run all these examples to complete the concept of dictionaries in python okay let's see here is a pycham id let us create a new project file new project let us name it python dictionaries and click on create we have created our project let us create our first program right click new python file name it demo and press enter it will create a demo.py file ok so at first we will see an example to create a dictionary so let us create a dictionary first at first we will create an object so I have told I told you before let's say our object is my stock and now we will create the key value pairs so I added a parenthesis let us now add the following is our key because it is on the left of colon on the right we have the values so product is our key and earphone is our value for the next key value pair we will add a comma then we have price on the left of colon that is a key and then we have a value so this is our price 800 let's say then comes the quantity part guys quantity let's say is uh, 50 here which is our other key value pair and the last will be in stock in stock is our key and uh, value is our yes okay so this is our dictionary now let us print the dictionary easily just add the name of the object that's it right click and run and here you can see we successfully printed a four key value pair one two three and four okay so let me change it yeah quantity and run it again so we created a four key value pair here it is the first is this the second is the price one third is the quantity key value pair and the fourth is in stock key value pair so this was our first example to create dictionary in python with keys that is four key value pairs in this way you can also create two key value pairs or three key value pairs whatever you wish to okay now let us move further and see how we can create a dictionary in python using the dict method i told you dict method let's create a new file name it demo2 and press enter so we will create a dictionary now using the dict method okay at first create a dictionary in the same way 
so our dictionary object is my stock within that I'll create dict and under that I'll add parenthesis that's it now add your key value pairs inside it this is the only difference okay so I'll add it again the four key value pairs we created before so we added here okay product price quantity in stock that is whatever you have on the left of the colon is your key and on the right we have values okay now let us print it using the same my stock print the dictionary right click and run and here you can see we successfully printed our key value pair using the dict method okay so we have our four key value pair ready for our dictionary now let us move further now we will see how we can how we can create an empty dictionary in python for that guys create a new dictionary object okay and just assign empty parenthesis to it print it and we have printed it successfully right click and run and after running now we will see it only printed the empty one because we just entered an empty dictionary without any value now let us see another example wherein we will learn how to access values in a python dictionary now we will see how to access values in a python dictionary to access value use the key name okay refer the key under square brackets and fetch any corresponding value okay so for that let us first create a dictionary so i have created a dictionary object my stock okay within that uh, i have printed a dictionary so we have four key value pairs here on the left of the column we have our keys product price quantity and in stock and on the right we have earphone 850 and yes this is our value okay so let us access values we will print side by side okay so at first mention the product name then i told you to access values we need a square bracket and we need to just set the key here for value let's say i want the value earphone so i'll just mention the key of it that is product okay but do not forget the quotes okay so in this way we can print the value earphone we will fetch the value earphone using the key so when i'll right click and run it you can see the output we got the earphone here okay in the same way we can go for let's say i want the value 800 so i'll just print the key that's it so simple okay in the same way this works for the next one let's say i want 50 value so just enter the key that's it right click and run so using the keys we can access the values in a python dictionary now let's move further we can also access values in python dictionary using the get method let's see how so we will fetch the values in a python dictionary again but using the get method now create a dictionary again create a dictionary again add key value pairs in it so we have added four key value pairs on the left of the colon we have keys on the right of the colon we have values that's it let's uh, print it first again let's print it first okay this is fine now guys what i'll do i'll just uh, fetch the values using the key okay so we have used the get method and inside we added the key for the value we want we want to fetch i wanted earphone value so i added product key here in the same way let's say i want uh, this in stock value so i'll just add the key name on the get method here it is i added the key name okay now right click and run on running you can see we successfully printed earphone and yes value that means the corresponding value for the key product and the corresponding value yes for the key in stock okay in this way we can easily access the dictionary values using the get method
now let us see how we can print all the keys of a dictionary to print all the keys of a dictionary in python we only need the keys method so at first let us create a dictionary add the key value pairs in it so we successfully added the key value pairs in it okay on the left we have our keys on the right we have our values product price quantity and in stock are our keys and this is what we want to fetch let us print the dictionary after that i just need to get the keys so use the keys method that's it that will fetch all the keys only okay right click and run after running you can see dict underscore keys is returned within that we have all the keys product price quantity and quantity and in stock here it is we just fetch the keys that's it in this way you can print all the keys of a dictionary now let us see another example using that we can print all the values of the python dictionary for that guys uh, we will use the values method for keys to fetch all the keys we use the keys method for values we will print the values method that's it at first uh, create a at first create a python dictionary so we added values uh, so we added key value pairs to the python dictionary here it is here in values are whatever you can see after the colon that means your phone 850 and yes are the values you will fetch them using the values method at first print the dictionary like this now let us fetch the values using the values method here it is right click and run now it will display earphone 850 and yes that's it here it is dict underscore value returned and it is showing all the values we wanted for a dictionary keys okay now let's move further now we will see how we can update values in a dictionary to update values just refer the key name for which you want to update the values that's it and enter the new value let us first create a dictionary four key value pairs okay four key value pairs okay now let us print it so now we have four key value pairs with the keys on the left of the column and values on the right of the column we need to update the values so we'll be using the key that's it so let's say at first i'll update the corresponding value for the price key for that i'll just use the square brackets and mention the key in it and i'll just mention the new value for the price key it's 800 let's say i'll just mention it 4000 i have updated it in the same way i'll update for the quantity key so just mention quantity here and just mention the updated value so I'll add 70 here that's it now we have updated values in a dictionary let us print the updated dictionary okay so we have updated the dictionary so we have printed it let's run it okay so initially you can see our initial dictionary was the following and then we updated the price and quantity values so 800 to 4000 here it is we did it and 50 to 70 we updated it so through this we successfully updated values in a dictionary now we will see how we can add items to an already created dictionary okay to add items create a new index key and assign value to it that's it let us add the key value pairs okay so herein we have the four key value pairs let us print it okay after that we will add now we will add items to the already created dictionary that is the following so let's say i need to add a new key value pair that is rating a new key so to add it just use my stock dictionary object name and with it the square brackets add the new key that's it and mention the value here so this is our key value pair now now let us print the updated dictionary so we printed it here now let's see 
we ran it initially you can see there were four key value pairs okay three and four now we have an additional one which is five rating five so we added a we added new items to an already created dictionary now let us see another example how we can delete an element in a dictionary with a specific key so to delete an element use the del keyword del keyword and in the square bracket set the key of specific element you want to delete so let's see let us first create a dictionary then print it okay we have printed a dictionary now i just want to delete an element so for that i'll use the del del keyword and then mention the dictionary object name which was our my stock and within that mention the key you want to delete okay that means uh, the corresponding key for the value so we want to delete the price that is the value 800 so we will delete the price key using the following adding under square bracket now let us print the updated dictionary here it is now when i'll run it the four key values will convert to three key values because we deleted the price key right click run here and you can see initially we had four key pair values okay now we have only three because we deleted the price one you cannot see price here because we deleted it in this way you can easily delete an item in a dictionary with a specific key let's see another example in this example we will see how we can easily delete the dictionary completely okay to delete the dictionary completely use the del del keyword and just mention the dictionary object name that's it let us first create a new dictionary let us print the dictionary now after that let us delete the dictionary del my stock i told you del keyword space the dictionary object name that's it now i'll just run it and it will delete okay you can see only the initial one is visible but we deleted after that now guys when i'll try to print the dictionary again it will show an error because we deleted it here it is it will show an error i'll just mention error will occur since since we have deleted the dictionary above that's it so i'll run it and there will be an error here and you can see my stock is not defined why because we deleted it so here it will show it is not defined because we ran it and we deleted it before okay so in this way you can delete the dictionary let us see another example now we'll see how to how to empty the dictionary so here in we will not delete the dictionary but we will empty it that is we will we will delete all its items that is key value pairs so at first let us create a my stock dictionary object okay now let us print the dictionary first okay we printed it now to empty the dictionary we use the clear method in python use the dictionary object and mention the clear method that's it this will clear your dictionary when you will print it again it will show empty dictionary because we use the clear method to clear the dictionary empty the dictionary that is all key value pairs deleted here it is okay we have empty dictionary now now let us delete the keys from the dictionary now let us see another example to delete keys from the dictionary here is the my stock dictionary object here is a dictionary object so we have created my stock dictionary object enter the key value pairs in it okay so to delete the keys from a dictionary we will use the del keyword let us first create a complete dictionary so we created a dictionary with four key value pairs on the left of the column we have keys and on the right of the column we have values print the dictionary now we need to delete keys from the dictionary so let's say i just want to remove the in stock key for that use the del keyword then the dictionary object name and within square brackets add the 
add the name of the key that's it so this will delete the in stock key after that just print the updated dictionary so I printed it here now let's see right click and run at first we have four key value pairs after that after using delete we will be having three key value pairs because we have deleted one here you can see four key value pairs now we have three key value pairs in the updated dictionary why because we remove the in stock key value pair using the del method in this way you can delete any key from the dictionary let us see another example now now we will delete a key and return the corresponding value okay using the pop method let us create a dictionary object first four key value pairs so our dictionary object is my stock and within that we have four key value pairs so now let us print the dictionary now let us print the dictionary okay to delete a key and return the corresponding value use the pop method create a new variable and use the dictionary object my stock use the pop method and within that mention the key you want to delete so we wanted to delete the key quantity okay but we wanted to also return the corresponding value for that we have just used the result variable wherein we popped it and we added it to the str method for string representation okay now we have the updated dictionary let us print it right click and run okay so we have a dictionary here we remove the corresponding we remove the key quantity and using the pop method we have displayed the value also which will get deleted that is 50 here okay I'll show here it is we removed the quantity key using the pop method it also returned the value corresponding value and when we will print the updated dictionary you cannot see here you won't be able to see the quantity key value pair because we deleted it this was the purpose of this pop method to return the corresponding value also after deleting now let us see another example now we will see how we can iterate through a dictionary for that we will be using the for loop ok let's see let us first create our dictionary object and within that we will add key value pairs for a dictionary so we printed our key value pairs ok now let us print the dictionary after that we will iterate now use the for loop for p in dictionary name dictionary object that is my stock colon and just print one by one in square brackets mention the iteration right click and run and you can see it has iterated only the values in the dictionary okay now let us see another example how we can display a printable string representation of a dictionary for that we will be using the str and the format specifier let us first create a dictionary display the dictionary okay now we will just print the string representation using the format specifier s and after that the following and mention the dictionary under the str and right click and run it let's see we have displayed the string representation of uh, our dictionary key value pairs Now let us move further and get the length of the dictionary. Here in we will create a my stock dictionary object. I'll print it and uh, now we want to get the length of the dictionary so use the len method that is the length method. 
okay within that just mention the dictionary name and the same will give you the count of the dictionary so we have four key value pairs so four will be returned here it is four returned that means the length of the dictionary is four another example let's say we need to make a copy of the dictionary how we can do it to make a copy of the dictionary we use the copy method so at first we will create a dictionary okay we have created my stock dictionary object now we will add key value pairs in a dictionary okay so now print the dictionary now let us create another dictionary object my stock to and under that mention the under that mention the copy method so now the my stock to will have my stock dot copy that is the copy of the my stock dictionary object that is the entire key value pair now when i'll print the second dictionary object it will be having all the key value pairs of the first dictionary object because we use the copy method here it is you can see this is the first my stock one this is my stock and this is my stock two similar key value pairs because we use the copy method now let us see how we can create a multi dimensional dictionary in python okay for that at first we'll be creating dictionary objects and then we'll be creating multi dictionary okay by setting the dictionaries as their values so let's see so here and we will create a multi dimensional dictionary for that at first we will be creating dictionary objects and then we will create a multi dimensional dictionary by setting the dictionaries as their value okay let us create uh, two dictionaries so here and i have created two dictionaries dictionary 1 and uh, dictionary 2 okay so within that we have my stock 1 and my stock 2 object dictionary object and four key value pairs keys product price quantity in stock for all four and values are different for both the object my stock 1 and my stock 2 now to create a multi dimensional dictionary what we need to do guys we need to at first we will just print the first and second dictionary okay we printed it now now i'll create a multi dimensional dictionary for that we have the dictionary object products within that we'll be using the following here mention the first dictionary object and here mention the second dictionary object so this will make this will form a multi dimensional dictionary now to print the entire dictionary multi dimensional dictionary just display this products since we have set the two dictionaries as their value here for the key 1 and 2 this is a complete multi dimensional dictionary now when i'll print product it will display our multi dimensional dictionary here it is this was our first one this was our second one and after that we printed a multi dimensional dictionary the first one and sorry the first the first one and the second one here okay so in this way we printed our our multi dimensional dictionary okay now let us create a nested dictionary in python a nested dictionary is a dictionary that has many dictionaries in it okay so we will be creating a dictionary here that has three dictionaries okay let us first create an object let us first create an object and within that i'll now add three dictionary objects to make it a nested dictionary within the products object i have added four dictionaries my stock 1 my stock 2 my stock 3 and my stock 4 all of them are having four key value pairs product price quantity and in stock okay now i'll just print the products which will print all the nested dictionaries right click and run my stock 1 my stock 2 my stock 3 and my stock 4 so we have printed our nested dictionary easily now let us see how we can access values from a nested dictionary in python 
to access uh, elements from a nested dictionary okay we'll be using the product and the square brackets to fetch the specific elements let us first create an object and within that i'll now add dictionary objects to make it a nested dictionary so we have printed a dictionary nested dictionary now we need to fetch it right so directly go to print and within that mention the dictionary object products and now under square brackets mention the value which you want from the nested dictionary so let's say i want from my stock 2 and from my stock 2 i want the hdd value okay for that i'll be using the product key that's it so here in mention the here in mention the product key that's it this will print the following value that means my stock 2 product it will return hdd right click and run here you can see it has written hdd in the same way you can get other values let's say i want my stock 4 and a quantity value from the fourth dictionary here is my stock 4 quantity value this will return 10 run it here it is we have printed a dictionary as well as the two values in this way we can work around nested dictionaries in python and access values so guys in this video we saw how we can work around dictionaries in python we saw more than 20 examples also thank you for watching the video